Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another episode of Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we departed Lemuria, the lost city hidden in the fog. Uh, we learned some pretty, probably some very important plot points about why we're lighting the lighthouses. Before, in the last game, it was just all about, don't do it, because the wise one said so and we were just chasing Saturos and Minardi and Felix and the gang to try to prevent them from stopping from lighting them, even though they succeeded in lighting them every single time. And now the the story is that we gotta light them because the world is dying. Like the landmass is shrinking. Um yeah, like the edge of the world is literally just like crumbling apart. Um so yeah, there's, there's a good excuse to, to light the lighthouses. Um, but yeah, for now though, um, we did get grind synergy from the king of Lemuria. So now we can enter the western sea. There's gonna be a lot of exploring to do. There's like a lot of little places we gotta hit up, a lot of, lot of gin hunting we gotta do, so I don't know how much I'll be able to do this episode. Uh, but for now, since we got grind, we can do part... Part of Treasure Isle. Um, in order to finish it though and get the the best reward at the end, we need to come back with uh, Lift Synergy, which we need our other party members to do so that have Golden Sun One Synergy. Uh, which they do avoid. I guess I'll put that into R. I'll probably mess it up because I usually set it to L. Let's do a little treasure hunting. Now this area is probably the same location that Briggs. Um, raided. Yeah, because we have these like easily accessible chests, but they're like already emptied from like the beginning of the game. No oh, treasure. Oh, I guess they missed some coins. And a lucky medal. We probably could have got that earlier, but fine, we, we didn't need those coins that badly, or that lucky metal. We did get some uh, items at the lucky spring. We just got as many as their inventory would hold. There was some nice upgrades. We could have gotten some more upgrades, but he's fine. Alright, got some treasures. Empty. 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 <laughs> Rip. Alright, now we have this suspicious looking button. This is probably the trap that they triggered and now there's a bunch of rocks in the way. And we can't get the treasure anymore, but... We have grind. We have magic on our side, so we can just... Get rid of those stones. <laughs> uh, looks like we have to keep... Yeah, we have, to, we have to keep the upper one intact because it acts like a platform. Ooh, some paradigms. Need some magic. <laughs> I also said I was gonna change up my magic, but then I'm also aware that I'm gonna find a lot more gin. So it might be a little difficult. Just some synergy I haven't like played around with yet. Hey, fool! It looks a lot like. Whirlwind! Yeah, we're gonna get some more gin, which is gonna kind of screw around with our classes. I do want to make Felix a samurai, though, but I think I need, like, one more fire gin, I think? Before I can do that? Alright, let's go down this way. Do I have to hit the button? <laughs> Right? Yeah, it's like... Hmm. What if I did this? Looks, looks like I need that platform. Oh, 
Do grind. Um, oh, whoops. <laughs> I, I forget that I have grind set. Avoid! Let's move that. I probably should have slept at an inn. I'm gonna waste all my synergy. There we go. Ow. Well, not really ow. <laughs> the stone soldier hasn't exploded yet. Yeah, uh, so when we learned uh, that synergy could potentially destroy the world, I find it's like a kind of a stupid point though, because like their argument is like the world's dying anyway. So like that's the guarantee. But like the argument is like if you if you revive Synergy, if you revive Alchemy, then... Then, uh, they might destroy the world. It's like, but... If you don't, that's like a surefire thing. I always found it to be kind of like a dumb point. It's like... But if we don't do it, it's like a for sure thing. <laughs> we, we have to unleash magic, even if everyone becomes- if everyone becomes magical, that would... Cause wars and stuff, because everyone has the power of mass destruction, but... Yeah, he pulled the argument that we should keep everyone... Like, uncivilized. But hey, the planet is dying. I raise it. Raise this PP. Give it a Shiva. Got my... Yeah, I'll give it a Shiba. <laughs> Buy a clear bracelet, which raises water synergy, so it might actually be good in some cases. Also, Treasure Island kind of reminds me of like, the whole situation of Crossbone Isles, Island, and Golden Sun 1. Although that area had a completely different vibe. I don't- yeah, I don't need- I don't need, uh, rocks anymore. These rocks can go bye-bye. I got the treasure. Poor Briggs and his crew. <laughs> They're probably, like, so confused after pushing these buttons and seeing these rock spiders just spawn out of nowhere. Okay, tunnels, which way? Up or down? Let's try up, and then we'll try down. Got a turtle dragon. Heck, you with normal stuff. Uh... Thunderbolt. <laughs> just... Jenna, use Thunderbolt! The very bright plasma. to focus on the turtle dragon. Alright, it probably just needs like one more hit. Dead. Hey, Shiva finally leveled up. She caught up with everyone else. Okay, down was the right answer. Down is treasure. Up is the way forward. You gotta love that. You gotta always get the dead end. Reminds me of like a Prozidis skit. <laughs> Where like the boss is just waiting at the end of the corridor and you're just like, hang on a sec, I, I gotta check this room. I found a potion. Like, hurry up. It's a mimic. That's, mimics are usually weak to fire. It's like a cluster bomb, you know? Do you have any fire? No, you are my healer. Some water and wind. Attached to you. Uh, Hestia Blade's like, <laughs> like a, probably a fire type only, it's just attack. Crucible Fire! Also drops agility. I think like the axe that you can get at the Lucky Spring, it does the same amount of attack, but it like, it'll lower resistance instead. So, like you can kind of choose like, oh you can use the Hestia Blade. Drop some power bread, nice. 
You can use the Hestia blade to lower agility, or you might want to like favor the axe to lower resistance and just hit stuff with synergy. Uh, who needs more HP? Fears, wow. <laughs> I think Fears is only low because I, I think of them as class. I'm pretty sure it's just because of his class. <laughs> well, I feel bad, man. Piers, you're not supposed to be this weak. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed you some bread, Piers. Piers needs some love. You got forgotten in, in like the next game. You don't deserve this, Piers. I'd like to hear more about Piers in like the next game, if they make another Golden Sun game. I really hope they'd make another one. <laughs> it's not very hopeful. Got the cookie. Got some stardust. Got a rusty axe. Got another silk feather. Got some coins. 9, nine 11 rip. And some synergy stones. I think that's the last thing. Does the silk feather stack? It does. Alright, who wants the cookie? Shiba, you're kind of a monster when it comes to synergy. Uh, this... I think almost Felix needs some more. Hmm. I think I, I don't use a lot of magic with Felix if I can help it. Uh, I'll give it to Jenna. Void. And let's check out the other path, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, a dead end at the moment. Who wants the dory cluster bomb? Dang, play as a ma. Explosions! I just assume these things are weak to fire because <laughs> they look like water-based creatures. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, I think in like the. Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, I think that there was like a small excerpt about Piers like sailing the ocean. But otherwise, we don't really know what he's doing. <laughs> he's just kind of assuming he might become plot relevant later. Felix is just MIA. Okay, yeah, this is the end of the road for now. Uh, these things look a little scary. Uh oh. <laughs> Am I in danger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh, these things look a lot scarier than they should be. Let's see. Let's just focus fire on one. Okay. Oh good, that actually sealed his synergy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. End of the road here. There's a there's a boulder here. Can't do anything about the boulder, even though you think you'd have something that could deal with like a small spherical rock. Nope! You can't. Not allowed. You have to have lift synergy, which is on our Golden Sun One party. So let's get out of here. Well, this popsicle stand. We got quite a lot of treasure, though. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Ugh, it's kind of long, but we have a lot of stuff we can we can craft. Might right, seem kind of dumb because we're gonna get some more stuff we can craft very soon, but just. Finish our our Eastern Sea catalog of weapons. Oh, what am I doing? I am casting a void. Sail to 
I said the south end till I hit something. I think like grind synergy. I wonder if anyone like thought that it meant they could attack these reefs. Cause it didn't say like it didn't mention like the reef spires. I oh, still can't traverse over those. All right, we're gonna go south for. Don't look at the map. It's like. It's like, are we there yet? Checking the map every second. It's like, no, we're not almost there. Stop checking. Oh, boy, effect wore off. We wanna keep casting that. You don't wanna deal with these encounters. They're below our level. A lot of other monster encounters are worth more our time. Skirting Lemuria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I might actually play. Uh, kind of cool to think like playing Golden Sun Dark Dawn, like LPing it is actually on the table for me now. Like ever since I got my 3DS capture card, <laughs> I've just been wanting to record 3DS games. And DS games. So many good games for those systems, but before they were really hard to record. Unless you had, like, a smartphone trained on the screen, but then, like, your hands would get in the way. Ah, uh, rip. Okay, we made it, but <laughs> can't go over these little shoals here. <laughs> Gotta go around. But yeah, maybe, like, sometime in. The future, I'll play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Hopefully it won't take another seven years, but you never know. I just kind of play what my whims decide. It could be a nostalgic game. It could be Harvest Moon. It could be an Otome game, who knows. The world is at my fingertips. God, finally made it. <laughs> you did it! Y'all um, Make these weapons that probably won't do us any good, because we already have a soul blade and a Hestia blade. So we're probably- we're probably good. Let's just see what's in them, though. Uh, let's do the rusty sword that we got outside Loompa's tower. Cause those are the same thing no matter what. We can we can also scum the stardust and the soul feather, but I don't think it matters. Whatever I get, it will be replaced eventually. So no need to like beat myself up about it. <laughs> I don't get the best gear at the moment. Give me. I got Corsair's Edge. Maybe this used to belong to Loompa. He was a thief, probably was a Corsair. So while sailing the seas, unleash it, unleashes Lunar Slash. It's a light blade, so Jenna could actually wear it. Uh, but she already has something a little bit better. Yeah, it's, just, it's not. It's not useful for anyone. Okay, let's do the axe. Push, <laughs> push the man out of my way, sir. The rusty axe that we found at Treasure Island. Wonder if that one's gonna be any good. I remember I went to Treasure Island like super late in the game when I had all this energy, so like all the beginning rewards are just useless. <laughs> are useless to me. And we got Viking Axe. Probably not better than the Hestia Blade. Unleashes Stun Bolts. Yeah, Hestia Blade is a little bit better. I'll keep that. Uh, so I could save. Go over this file. File 2. Uh, so we got the spirit. No, oh, oh, the spirit does uh, stardust rather. <laughs> and we got some silk feathers that we can turn. This 
can this can just be whatever. I don't really care what it turns into. Because like, I know I'll be replaced eventually. Uh, but yeah, Stardust can turn to Comet Mace, Planet Armor, Lunar Shield, Astral Circuit, and then the Stardust Ring. I think last time we got Lunar Shield, which was pretty good for the resistance. Kind of silly if I got another one. It would be nice to see some other item. I pay for this. Oh, I got the circlets. Astral circlets. See if this is any better. Raises pee pee. It's actually a little, little bit of an upgrade for Shiva. I gotta get rid of the piercer clip though. <laughs> Tell how, how much PP did that did that raise? More or less PP. Uh, that's not what I wanted to look at. Uh, brain details. Plus fifteen. Not not that great, but it's, it's an additional attack. The pure circlet might be a better option if you're trying to mid max. Uh, your water synergy power, though. Yeah, the the, the circle, the circlet, the clear bracelet, and the pure circlet does raise water power. We'll just get the defense upgrades, though, so we don't die. This thing, monsters are gonna get a little scarier. <laughs> Another circlet! <laughs> Rip! Oh well. Uh, that's fine. If we really wanted more Stardust, you can you can farm them off Sand Scorpions. Although the drop rate's pretty low. Alright, let's try our Silt Feathers. Now the Silt Feathers... Uh, I forgot what we got. Did we get the Floating Hat last time? I forgot. But we can also get aerial gloves, fairy vest, and silk rapier. Um, and if we really wanted more silk feathers, they actually drop off uh, great seagulls that spawn on the Western Ocean. So we could potentially get more if we kill a bunch of seagulls in a specific way. But once again, silk feathers aren't really endgame items, so no worries. <laughs> Got a funny looking hat. Raises luck, resists wind. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, a little bit better than the astral circuit. Why not? It's just like a little bit more defense. Get all the excess out of my out of my inventory. Hello. <laughs> out of my way. Got aerial gloves. I feel like I haven't got those yet. Ooh, <laughs> ooh! Raises speed and wind power. I would say that's good for anyone. That's a big speed uppy. Although Jenna, being being a ninja, you're already stupid fast. Uh, hmm. <laughs> that's a big uppy. Uh, maybe Jenna, because she's already... It's, it's both a defense and an edgy upgrade. Hard choices here. Or maybe Felix, because he's just like... Stupid slow as a dragoon. <laughs> hmm. Although, Jenna is a ninja at the moment. And she has wind synergy at her disposal. It's a hard choice, guys. Eh, let's do Jenna. 
and equip it. Uh, is the crafted gloves, like, good for anybody? Good if I want a min-max attack. But the attack boost might be negligible. <laughs> Could give could give Felix a little bit more defense. Yeah, let's just let's just keep it this way. Okay, we crafted everything. Let's sell what we didn't equip, and then we'll head out. All right, we're doing pretty good on time. Yeah, much we can. See how much we can explore, rather. Feel bad. Feel bad selling all this stuff. Can always pick it up again later. Okay, yeah. I think I just need to shift some items around. You take the metal. Synergy stone. Now we have a lot more space, which we're, we're just gonna clog up again. We're just gonna get more stuff. Let's take a little nappy nap before we head out. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop going through menus. I wanted to talk. Let me sleep, dang it. I ask that question every day. Not like a question, it's more of an expl- Exclamation. Let me sleep. <laughs> okay. Let's get down to fear. So we are gonna do a loop de loop around the continent, and now we're trying to get to Gondwan Cliffs. It's fun to do it the long way around. Let's go disembark. We have a whole new world to explore. Although the water portion of the West Sea. It's smaller, but I actually find the Western Sea a little bit more scarier. Cause like there's there's more land mass. I feel like the the Eastern Sea, like there's more ocean, but um you would just you would just hit up an island, do what you needed to do, and then just sail off again. I feel like with the land masses it's a lot harder to navigate. Like you need to find a beach or a river in order to in order to enter the landmass, and then you know, you often get like stuck like proceeding through the continent from like a mountain or like a river in your way. It just gets really confusing. <laughs> Although if you wanted to, you can just proceed through the story, and eventually they will give you a boat upgrade that will allow you to just avoid more of that grief. But at that point, I mean, a lot of the items that you can find won't be as useful to you anymore. <laughs> really wish I could use avoid on a shortcut. Doesn't work when you're in the overworld. You just zoom out or open the map. Uh, I don't think I can cut across through there. I hit land. All the way around. Having a whole continent here just kind of screw up your tr trade routes. Although I guess not a lot of people were trading with ships. They lost that technology. Everyone just landbound. Oh, yeah, 
almost there. There we go. Gone to one cliffs. And now we're coming at it from the boat perspective instead of the land perspective. Grind the stone here. We saw when we crossed here at the beginning. But probably didn't have any significance to you at the moment. And yay, we're at the Western Sea. We did it, guys. Now this is where this is where I get lost. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I don't like explore this area in an efficient manner, but I'm just gonna try to pick up stuff as I remember. We got some more powerful monsters. How did a snail sneak up on me? Did so very quietly. Yeah, we got some more monsters that are high lo higher level than the Eastern Sea. And now they're getting past our avoid synergy. I'm looking for a shallow area. And we're down here. A little bit more to the east. Should be here. There's something in the shallows! We found another rusty sword! Let's go back to Yalam right now! No, let's not. <laughs> it's okay. I like Tendaria Towers right there. Too bad there's no beach to land on this area. So, where do I want to go now? Could like skirt the continent here, trying to like find spots that are good. I think I'm gonna go west though. Least. Lazily sail west. And yeah, in terms of rusty weapons in the shallows, uh, there are three that you can find. But one of them... One of them you can't get yet. <laughs> I'm sure I can at you. <laughs> yeah, you can't get one of them until you get a boat upgrade. Lazuma. Yeah, you feel like leveled up. No, I'm thinking I might be casting a void. <laughs> Should be more down south, but it's just empty, empty area. Blast him. So I started blasting. of the world. Let's go to the north. Vile dirge. Like a weird bat-like creature. Yeah, it's jerking again. Take that. I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja mage. Uh, yeah, we're kind of more north. Kind of scary. Kind of scary, but it's close to the edge of the world. It'd be nice if we could sit. <laughs> I always thought that would be like the next game in Golden Sun. Like Felix and Isaac would, like in Golden Sun Three. My my imagined Golden Sun Three. They would just sail across the edge of the world and find a whole new world. Mm 
But it wasn't meant to be. I forgot how Golden Sun Dark Dawn ended. I think. Didn't they like go to some other weird dimension and then they, it just ended that way? And like, and next time! Meanwhile, we're still waiting for next time. Wolf can. Terra. Terra Anadon! Hard to say that. I'm gonna hit you with some bamboo. More gold and more pterodons. Not shurikens are fun. <laughs> Shuriken is fun! You're all dead. Ooh. Again, is that level 28 ninja? Southwest Atekit Islet Inlet. <laughs> Just can't say words. The sea west of here spills over a massive waterfall. You really start to appreciate the grandeur of nature if you see that, I can tell ya. Not really a big settlement here, it's like a campsite. Uh, not sure how many people are here, but. I will mind read you. My buddy thinks I'm nuts to risk my life for a look at the falls. Actually, I just want to get my hands on some treasure I saw on the way there. Okay, <laughs> no one actually lives this close to the edge of the world. Except <laughs> for the people of Apogee Island. There's nothing to the west of here, and it's really dangerous. You shouldn't go that way. Currents are so strong near the falls that any boat caught in it is doomed. Luckily, we can't actually fall off. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure we can get the treasure here. And we gotta push. The push. You can also see there's. A boulder we can lift. But I think we can get some other treasure here. There we go. I got stuck. Across here. And we got some dragon skin. Um, we actually- you might want to save this! Um, I think this is a popular item to use with, uh, it's forgeable, so we can take it back to Yulaw, but I think this is a popular item. Uh, when we get to a place called the Shaman Village, uh, we'll hit kind of a little event that's very popular. Or being able to duplicate items, <laughs> so, so you, you would be able to duplicate what you have on hand. Unfortunately, since it comes kind of like at this point in the game, it's not like any end game items that you can duplicate, but you can still duplicate some nice stuff. Um, okay, so we're technically done here. I think we're done like forever here, but if you did miss a gin. A Jupiter Gen and Golden Sun One, and your data transfer, um, you would you would be able to get it here, uh, using this like lift puzzle here. But yeah, I, I think we're done. <laughs> we're, we're, let's get out of here. There's there's that area. The Slayer. Those assassins. I kind of feel bad for those guys that are that are camping. <laughs> There's just some some uh, deadly people here in the woods. Here's leveled up. Oh, we 
here that Piers is now behind. He used to be ahead of the group. Alright, now that where the heck do I want to go? We could go here. This is for story though, but you can't get a Jin. I think I might wait to go into Contigo though, because if we do go to Contigo, I'm just gonna wanna play slots. <laughs> That's gonna take a bit. Good old gambling. Let's keep sailing around. Yeah, okay. That, <laughs> that's my decision, dang it. Kill it with fire. Okay, keep sailing. Just keep sailing, just keep sailing, just keep sailing, sailing, sailing. I think it's I think it's a speech. Might be wrong. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more up. Ah. Or sea fowl. Fight, so just annoying. I'm not going to cast a void even though it's not working. <laughs> and maybe when we hit level 30, 30 seems like a, a level where you start avoiding these encounters. I gotta find somewhere in the wild. Alan Runner. I don't know why I'm just. Concentrating on one. That faith in Felix's soul blade. I think it's over somewhere. There's there's a lighthouse. Weasel Claw. I want to say it's here, but... Whoops. <laughs> what did I say? I feel like it's like to run. Flee! It's kind of funny. Just like, hello, Wolfkin. Hop away. Like in a stretch of forest, or just like it. You wouldn't really think of it otherwise, but there is a gin there. Megido. Should try fleeing. <laughs> there it 
there it is. Okay, I'll just like. Which forest is it? <laughs> this one. Let's use cutting edge. Let's try using cutting edge. This thing is technically weak to water. Knowing my luck is just going to run. I'm gonna suplex you. Acha. Probably would have been better to just use a Megiddo, honestly. You can suplex it again. It's, it's probably almost dead. There we go. That was annoying. I got the genie core. Right, I think I could actually. I'm a savage. Uh. <laughs> give this to. <laughs> Need to rearrange. This just makes me a better ranger. How about I equip it to you for now? Yeah, I think. I think it's, is it four fire? Three Jupiter? I can turn Felix into a samurai. I gotta rearrange all my gin though. Okay, got core. That's one gin in the wild. Now we can cross off our list. There is one more. There's one more in the wild. And it's on the, the other continent up north. We have to enter from like a specific site. <laughs> it's like the Northeast River, and then there's like another stretch of forest that just looks like nothing. I guess this forest. I guess it's like kind of south. Yeah, it's like south of the lighthouse. And I think Contigo is here. So if you add those points on your map, you can just extrapolate. Like, oh, it's here. You can only get it get there from certain beaches. I guess we could have docked at this beach. I don't see any mountains here. Oh, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm abusing. I'm abusing Jenna's synergy. Might have to switch to it. Just attacking with her. Attack now, cause you're running low. Yeah, you can, you can still use synergy, Piers. You're still good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, 29 dragoon! I got a nut. Void's not working, but I cursed in it. <laughs> Almost to our boat. Where do we want to go now? Ooh. Just keep going north. There's another settlement nearby. We can grab some treasures. Let's go, let's go to Hesperia Settlement. Alright, weak to fire. It always messes me up with the weaknesses here, because I always, I always do Pokemon logic. I was like, oh, lightning should be be good against water, no, but not. It's, it's not Pokemon logic here. This beach or this beach? Which beach? I feel like this is like a waterfall. Let's try, let's try this area here. I feel like it's if it's the wrong way, not so bad.
tell you, I really wish I could fly. <laughs> I think we're almost the Shaman Village. There's a cave. I don't think we can do anything at that cave, though. I can look at it. Okay, Shaman Village Cave. Let's not worry about it. We're gonna go there later. That's a problem for later me. We're a little bit lost. I'm going west. Go west a little bit. And then, not sure how many more places I want to go. I want to get the other gin that's in the wild. And then maybe continue exploring in the next episode. I hit, I hit land. Rip. It's the other beach. That's the other beach. Well, the levels are good. Let's just use our unleashes. Level 29 Ranger. Let's see what happens when Sheba reaches level 29. Maybe we'll start. Maybe a void will start working. Let's try the other beach. Life's a beach! Turtle dragon. All oh, rip. <laughs> Dodge, dang it. like you to trigger Hestia Blade, but critically it's work too. Okay. Wow, I just needed to go to the other beach. <laughs> it would have been perfectly visible. Uh, it's very a settlement. Nice piece. Peaceful little village, and there's a gin there! Must be very brave to come all the way here by boat. For a continent as desolate as this one, there sure have been a lot of boats here lately. Barrels, I don't think there's any hidden items. I think there's a chest, though. There's a place called Shaman Village in the middle of the continent. Supposedly one of the rivers leads to it. I have no idea which one, though. <laughs> the one I went to. <laughs> <laughs> the one I went to and got lost. I just, just took that away in our brain for later. I think there's a cave down at the end of the river. That's the way into Shaman Village. Wonder if I should tell them what the legends say. Nah, they look like a smart group. I wouldn't. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I have a hard time reading maps. People of Shaman Village are very wary of strangers. Be careful if you ever meet them. Long ago, Shaman was. Ravaged by outsiders, it was terrible. From that day on, they simply have not trusted strangers in their village. Are you guys like the only people here? I don't see like anywhere to sleep. No, it's just like another way to look. <laughs> yeah, I can look at the gin. Desire the gin. Man, it must be pretty lonely here. This looks like a couple with their kid. Middle of nowhere. Kind of trying to think here. Big think. Where does this? Where is this supposed to go? I <laughs> just want to just hit hit it with the box, but. I feel like it's supposed to be a platform. Uh, 
Uh, okay, yeah. I have to... First you have to just push it. Yeah, that left, left side. I want, even though I want to squish... I want to squish the chin with the box. <laughs> Help us reach that cave and also reach the gin. Get the gin first. So I feel like the box will reset once we go in the cave and then we'll have to do the puzzle all over again. Yay, angry gin! Another- we got Tinder. <laughs> Who wants it? This makes you a better ninja. Balances out. Twice. I think I should- should I try trading? this turn you guys into still would be savage all right cuz derp that's, that's nothing no I'd have to like take Shiba out of white mage if I wanted to have like everyone be a new class I don't think I will. Yeah, I'll think I'll think about it. Uh <laughs> that might be a problem for next episode me. Is try to I'll shuffle around my gin. You could still be the ninja. Revive a down island. It's like Spark. Except Spark I I I yell cheers of support and like it doesn't work. I get angry. Right, anyway, let's check this chest. There's some coins, and that's pretty much everything that's here. The gin, obviously, being the most important one. So we're we're done here. Get the heck out of here. Now, where the heck do I want to go? Should I save it for next episode? Oh, there's so many more places. So much more sailing. So yeah, um, God, I'm gonna do some weird crisscross applesauce thing going around here. I don't think there's anything going on on this coast. I think the only important places here is the cave that we saw in the lake. The Shaman Cave, which leads to Shaman Village. Um, and then there is a wild gin, I think, if we enter here and find, like, a very nondescript stretch of forest. <laughs> we'll find a gin in the wild. We need to go to this little snowy island there near the North Pole. And... Yeah, I... I'm trying to think if there's anything on this coast that we need to do yet. And then I want to go to Contigo. Because there's a gin that we can get a little early, and there's a slot machine. So I think that will be what we do in the next episode. A lot of the next episode is just gonna be a lot of a lot of exploring. Alright. Yeah, let's save that for next time. I'm just kinda going a little baddie. Trying to plan my route. Okie doke. Well, anyway. I hope you guys had a fun time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh bye bye!